Welcome to the WECS Daily News. Attleboro High School held their first college day to encourage discussion about post-secondary education. WACS spoke with some of the staff to learn more. I am the uh, Foreign Language Department Coordinator here at Attleboro High School. I've been here for over 40 years. Uh, today we have a special event which is called College Day. All the teachers are wearing their uh, shirts or their regalia from uh, the schools that they went to and uh, an advisory which is like a homeroom where all the kids are going to meet with their teachers they're going to be talking about uh, colleges the teachers will be uh, talking about a little bit about the schools that they went to and why they went there and what's good about it uh, all the kids are uh, also wearing uh, sweatshirts or uh, t-shirts from different colleges. I have been going around this morning giving out uh, Dunkin' Donuts uh, cards to any kid that's wearing one. Uh, the teachers were also having a uh, Be Comfortable Day where the teachers donate uh, a couple of dollars and then the money is going to go to a scholarship for one of our seniors uh, this year. Uh, so it's a great opportunity for the kids to see the, where the teachers have gone to school and talk about college because a lot of kids don't like to talk about it. They try to avoid it. And so it's a good way to, to get them uh, doing this. For the kids to see that uh, our staff have gone to schools all over the nation. I always recommend to kids to you know, go south because those universities are usually more reasonable in price. And, um, you know, they're you know, great schools that kids can attend, so they can save a lot of money. So they're great opportunities all over the nation. Obviously, it's a lot easier to go around here. One, because uh, New England has a lot of colleges, uh, and uh, you know, most kids want to be close to home, even though when they go to college, most of them never return. They usually stay uh, in the area that they went to school. But the main thing is, again, we want them to be aware. You know, you, you really need to go to college these days. Without a college degree, your life is not going to be as good as if you do have a degree. And uh, obviously, you're going to make more money. And that's some of the things that they're going to be talking on an advisory today is uh, if you have a college degree, how much you make, if you have a master's or a PhD. So they're going to get all that information today about colleges. Throughout the year, we have many schools that come in and do presentations to our kids. You know, today we had UNH uh, and we have college fairs that uh, kids get to go to. So they, they get exposed. We also take kids on uh, college trips. Uh, you know, we load them up in buses and, and take them to, to Boston to visit two or three colleges, uh, UMass Amherst and, and some of the local schools so the kids, you know, uh, get to see what these places are like because some of the parents don't, you know, don't have the time to take them to visit these schools because you are spending a lot of money and you're going to spend four, six, eight years of your life in this one place. So it is very important that you make the right decision. The school website, we have information. There's the guidance page that has all the information about schools and uh, all the events that are going on all the time. Uh, so there's quite a bit of information if you go on our website uh, uh, about uh, anything to do with guidance uh, and uh, other events that are happening here at the school. It goes on all year with visits and we have an alumni day, which we have some of our uh, alumni come back and talk about their schools and their experience. Uh, so there's quite a bit that we do and we need to get the kids exposed to all of this because obviously, you know, the goal is so they can go into a higher education because today's society, you obviously need it to have a good job and a good life. That's it for today's update. You can watch all of our content by visiting our website, doublecs.com, by downloading the WECS mobile app, or if you have a Roku, you can search for the WECS Roku channel. For WECS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.